aggression playoff season five. Them versus me, competition for the victory. Woo. Please see Mo, don't fire me from history. Go. Balled into action. Are you ready to play? Woo. Who's to anyone, anywhere? Go any day. Come on. You wanna take a chance? Go ahead and be the man. Okay. Go 0-2 and you'll be forced to ban. Woo. Set your scales, make the Yugi Boomer see Then showtime. Go easy on me. I'm ready to duel. Go ahead and make your move. Progression playoff season five. This isn't Vrains. That's right, folks. As a result of your generosity during the live show, we reached a donation incentive to play an additional episode. Like the Hidden Arsenal episodes in the past, we will be pulling from a pool of side sets. But unlike those, we're doing things a little bit differently. Big shouts out to I Wish I Was Dead for helping us come up with this. Today, we're going to be opening from these deck build packs, each one of us opening a different one. So because these sets are different sizes, individuals opening sets that have 9 card packs will be opening 25 packs of them, and individuals opening sets that have 5 card packs will be opening 45 packs of them. The packs that we're going to be playing today are Destiny Soldiers, which includes Dark Lords, Destiny Heroes, and Abyss Actors. Big surprise, that's what I'm going to play. Wing Raiders, which contains Phantom Knights, Super Quantum, and Raid Raptors. That'll be opened by Leah. High Speed Riders, which includes Speedroids, Resonators, and Psyframes, that'll be opened by Danny. Fusion Enforcers, which includes Predaplant, Invoked, and Frightfur, that's going to be opened by Brent. And finally, the Secret Forces, which includes Necroz, Yosenju, and Ritual Beast, that'll be opened by Gavin. So without further ado, see you in the pack opening. Alright, 45 packs of Destiny Soldiers, starting now. Okay, here we go. So what we're looking for is uh, the Destiny Heroes, of course, uh, and the Abyss Actors. <laughs> Off to a good start. Wow, we're just going to get everything, huh? Oh, man. <clears throat> There's Sassy Rookie. There's Banishment. That's really important. We need to pull three of those, but it's a secret. Dark Angel, a secret. Why? Second Banishment. Ah, my favorite Dark Lord, Marie. That's too Nastin. That's our second beginning of the end as well. Celestial number one, looking for a couple more of those. Allure, thank you. God, this set is so crazy, wow. Second Dark Hole. Third Dark Hole. There's our first Wild Hope. There's Dystopia. How have we not pulled an FD yet? This is crazy. <clears throat> is FD in this set? It is, right? <coughs> no, okay. Well, that explains why we're not pulling it. Oh, yeah. Wow, we are getting so far with so much. I don't know if Abyss Actors can compete but I feel like they have to be able to. We need at least another Ixchel if we want to play Dark Lords. It's our third Dystopia, not good. Dark Angel, awesome. All right, 10 more packs here. Contact is good. Contact number two. There it is. Okay, we have to play Dark Lord, unfortunately. Oh, third Ixchel at the very end. Oh my god, we opened nuts. We got everything from this set. All right, well, uh, I guess that's what we're going to play. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's go to deck build. So here's the list, and unfortunately, it's Dark Lord. I really wanted to play Abyss Actor, but unfortunately, their best card comes in another set. And I really wanted to play Destiny Heroes. Unfortunately... You need the rest of the heroes to actually be competitive. Thankfully, Dark Lord is almost as good as it was in Constructed in this set. That's because at the time it was played in Constructed, it really only had this as its avenue for playability. Almost every card in this deck is from the very focused set that we opened, with the exceptions of Cosmic Cyclone and Oasis of Dragon Souls. This is a super explosive strategy. If you can get any Dark Lord into rotation, you can easily swarm your field with 25 to 2900 attack point bunguses. And if you get the right number of them, you can also lock your opponent out of the extra deck. 
So why am I a little concerned going into this week? Well, it's because Dark Lord historically had all of these tools at its disposal in Constructed as well, and yet it failed to make a splash past the Tier 2 or 3 metagame and fell off quite quickly. That's because the deck bricks like nobody's business. As you can see, we have quite literally no monsters we can normal summon without tributes. As a result, we need to open something like a Valhalla Hall of the Fallen, or get an Ixchel into rotation, then reborn a monster with Dark Lord Contact in order to make anything happen. This deck is super explosive, but it is also super one note. It can only really do the one thing, summon a bunch of big bunguses. It does it very well, but if it's unable to do so, or if a deck has a game plan post that point, you are going to get run over. So with that, let's go through the individual cards. We've got three Arclord Christia. This prevents your opponent from special summoning, and of course can be specialed if you have four fairy monsters in your graveyard. Oh, three copies of Dark Lord Asmodeus. This is a very old Dark Lord card. It can't be special summoned from the deck of the graveyard, and then once per turn you can send a fairy-type monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if this card you control is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you get to summon a token. Afterwards, we've got three copies of Ixchel. This can be discarded alongside a Dark Lord to draw two cards, and like the rest of these Dark Lords, you can pay a thousand life points, then target a Dark Lord spell trap, apply that effect, then shuffle that spell trap from your graveyard back into your deck. We've got two Dark Lord Morningstar. I don't love this card. You can't special summon it, so you have to tribute summon it. That's not too hard because you usually have two monsters on your side of the field and when you tribute summon it, you can summon a whole bunch of Dark Lords from your deck. Uh, that said, in a deck that's already bricky, this is another brick. We're playing three copies of Dark Lord Nasten. This monster has a weird stat line. Seven stars is not really where you want to be, but otherwise it's exactly the same as Ixchel except without the cycle effect. Uh, it also can be specialed from the hand if you have too many monsters, though that's usually not what you're bricking on. We have three copies of Dark Lord Superbia, another old one. Uh, when it's specialed from the graveyard, you can target a fairy-type monster in your graveyard and special summon it, and one copy of Dark Lord... Um this guy. We're playing three copies of Allure of Darkness, three copies of Banishment to the Dark Lord, which adds a Dark Lord from deck to hand, one Cosmic, Triple Dark Hole, that's going to come in handy, Triple Dark Lord Contact, three Trade In, we have a lot of eights in here, three Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen, two Dark Lord Rebellion, and one Oasis of Dragon Souls. In the extra, we have Aegeon the Sea Castrum, because it's an eight, and number 81 Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Super Dora, because it is a ten. So, Hoping for the best, but realistically, I think it's pretty likely we brick occasionally. If we don't, we are really going to run over our opponents. See you in the games. Well, folks, it's time for another episode of Progression Gay Off. Whoops, I said gay off instead of playoff. Happy Pride Month, everyone. Happy Pride. Here, Happy Pride. Here at Progression Playoffs, we, we're we just, we're here to slay, queens. And you can enjoy 5% off our TCG players by using the link in the description. This June 1st oh to June 3rd. We're corporate. We're proud to partner with Raytheon. <laughs> BlackRock is sponsoring this episode of. Pro oh, I guess they're oh not, man, they're not. I, I, I'm really excited for this one, Joe. I've got something spicy that I think is going to make you come. <laughs> wow! Oh wow! Not... Wow! We, we've we've stopped queer baiting this holiday season. We're just queer. <laughs> All right, let's make it happen, Captain. Uh, so you're also going to have to explain to me what all of your cards do, because I did not have the time or energy to read all Literally, five the sets. Literally, oh, no. if, if this isn't the Yu-Gi-Oh! experience, lo uh, <laughs> don't put that in, Jules. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if, we, if we haven't been cancelled already, I don't know what's going to do it at this point. All right, ready? This is really going to shock you. I'll activate Banishment of the Dark Lords. This Ooh, card allows me to add a Dark Lord dark card Lords. from my deck to my hand. How are you shocked about this? This is the most predictable. Play, wait, this isn't yeah. Heroes. No, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> there's uh, every Dark Lord card is fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. If okay. any of you have played Master Duel, unfortunately, this is like also the like a very popular deck this and like despia of course despia is crazy but mm -hmm. the dark lord cards are all like crazy engine pieces like this so this deck the oh. deck i'm basically playing uh was basically constructed playable uh not the best deck it was like fifth or sixth best deck during its format but it, it was a playable archetype i'm gonna go with ixchel effect i'm gonna discard this card oh my and gosh. dark lord is, nastin to draw two that is one gay ass angel she's, Happy Pride, uh, she's not gay she's just questioning 
All right, I'm going to activate Valhalla Hall of the Fala. <laughs> Star Wars nasty. Wow. All right, listen, you know, to, Val, this Pride season, you might be Valhalla in it back, girl, as we activate the effect of this wow. continuous spell to special a fairy from our hand. And the real fairies are those at home watching this show, this Pride <laughs> season. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna, we're summon, today, apparently. We're gonna summon Dark Lord Nasty, and then we're gonna activate his effect. <laughs> Let's get nasty, Queens, by activating the effect of Dark Lord <laughs> Return again. Oh, fortunately, that has a once per turn on it, right? That's true. Uh, but I'm activating the effect of Nastin, not the effect of Banishment of the Dark Lord. So, which does not have a once per turn on it. <laughs> Apply that target's effect. Oh Christ! <laughs> All right. All right, Damn. we're yeah. gonna we're gonna search. Uh, oh my God, card! Are you fucking with me? <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. I don't know what to search. I mean, there's so many funny things I could search that just win me the game immediately. It's just so. A is this what all the dark lords do? Is they they target a spell trap and and activate it and shuffle it back in? Pretty much. Itch shell does that too. Uh, we'll go contact here, targeting X shell. Contact. Uh, why are these okay. monsters so enormous? Then we're Wait, gonna activate pretty good. <laughs> Dark Lord Ixchel's yeah, effect no. targeting contact. Excuse Man, me? Just... Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can't do that because you can only special summon Dark Lord Nastin once per turn. Oh, you're right. We'll just have to wait until your turn because it's a fucking quick effect. It's a quick effect? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? All right, let's see what extra deck guys I could go into. Uh, AG on the Sea Castrator. Not this Pride Month, folks. Back to you. <laughs> um, wait, wait. Before you start, I just what happened that you can't do it? I'm just trying to follow. So, so dark, each Dark so, Lord name can be special summoned exactly one time per turn, and I summoned Nastin off of the effect of Valhalla Hall of the Fallen. So if oh, Joe oh, did see. Dark Lord Contact, it would be special Dark Lord Contact again. It would be special summoning the Nastin and Grave, which he can't do. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Uh, okay, I I don't know what that face down is, but I have something. I, I have something that I feel like is is pretty good against this. All right, yeah. um, I'm gonna start with uh, Raid Raptor Mimicry Lanius. Okay, oh, all right. Raid Raptors. All right, we're gonna uh we're gonna declare Pain Lanius and uh, special summon it here. Wow, oh boy. this Pride season, remember to channel the existential pain that you feel as a gay individual every single day into summoning an additional monster from your hand. Uh, we're going to overlay these two for Raid Raptor uh, for Strix. Wow. Yeah, it's, yeah. that's pretty good. We're just playing yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. 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 This is crazy. It took us like 15 episodes to get to this point in the actual season, and we're just here. We're just done. We're playing Constructed. Yeah, I mean, my, my deck is actually like, it's kind of sweet. Like, I, I kind of like it a lot. Wow. Um, um, We'll go get Booster Strix. This Pride Month, remember to get your COVID-19 booster. Please. Shut up. <laughs> Joe, I'm begging you. Begging you. Or you'll get COVID like me. Did you get COVID? Get COVID? I have COVID right now. Oh my god, this is a oh. reveal to the Prague playoffs team. Oh we literally <laughs> just learned this as you said. What <laughs> the fuck? Are you alright? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Melody's had COVID all week. I just got it today. Wow. Eesh. Well, shit. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I mean, strong argument against heterosexuality, though. Yeah, you know, I gotta agree. Anyway, rank up magic. <laughs> We're ranking up! Big L for wife guys here today. I will rank up into Raid Raptor Revolution Falcon. Wow, oh Slate. God. It's this time to start month, the Raid Raptor to Revolution. Revolution. <laughs> Over <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys uh, are so dumb. Oh my god. Um, so we're going to, uh, detach so that it can, um, attack your special summoned monsters. Uh, actually, wait, there's no need to do that. Um, cause I'll just do the first effect or the last effect, which says, um, target a monster your opponent controls, destroy it and burn you equal to its attack to half its attack. So we'll target Ixchel with this. Sure. Uh, I guess I'll chain Ixchel just to get you to swoose out a material. Yeah. And then I'll take okay. 25. Uh, you take half of her 
original attack. Thank the fucking Not lord, because that's an insane yeah, I was amount of say, damage. That's a yeah. lot. <laughs> You, okay, you, now you may we'll... be understanding why this deck was not the best deck in its associated <laughs> pool. Okay, six. now we'll detach to be able to attack all special summon monsters you control, or just all of your monsters once each. Mm -hmm. They've all been special summoned, so the second effect of Revolution Falcon happens where their attack and defense becomes zero when he attacks them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This card's crazy! No, no, Revolution Go ahead. Falcon. Yeah, this nuts. card's nutty. All right, uh, I'll draw for turn. Stand Dude, by me. That was just like summon a big extra deck guy. Oh, deck you're six. fucking with me. This is the worst draw in my deck. Let's go, Leah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> bird. Oh my gosh. I'm bird. A bird, bitch. Me, when my opponent, when my opponent beat my board. Dark hole. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, so this set has dark hole in it. <laughs> what the fuck you, <laughs> Um, I may, I may be able to kill you. I think that's probably <laughs> pretty him. likely. Kill him. Uh, okay, let's go Raid Raptor Sharp Lanius. Wow, during Pride Month, this is pretty fucked up of you. Yeah. Um, all special Fuzzy Lanius from hand with his effect. Oh, wow. Ooh, fuzzy. Uh, we'll overlay here for a, another Force Strix. Oh, so you just open two we'll four straps. the fuzzy. What did you open? Uh, 45 <laughs> packs of this yeah, set? Yeah, you open 45 <laughs> packs? That's crazy. Uh, we get the fuzzy via fuzzy effect. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll also get a singing lanius. A special <laughs> singing. Why? Wait, 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 why? <laughs> what? From Raid Raptor Four Strix effect. Oh, oh, the fuzzy lanius is the fuzzy lanius. Yeah, so when fuzzy lanius yeah. is sent, sure. it's an if, so it always happens. So he gets himself. Yeah. Okay, so we'll special the singing Lanius. Uh, then we will just rig this, up this magic bitch doing it again. Wow. She's just literally doing it again. Doing it again. Just hard draw both spells. I, she could have literally just put it back in hand using its effect, and she was like, "No." Actually, I, I couldn't because <laughs> you can't special summon during the turn. You do that other than by activating the card. Oh, excellent! All right, whatever. Um, I guess I'll put this in attack. All right, go, my bird bitch. You're, you're going to put like it that. in attack to do 100, really? Truly? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I like that rank of magic DM. natural force only lets you special summon by its own effect. So that implies that you had an XYZ that's stuck on the board regardless. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I uh, think the idea is that you can continue ranking up the guy. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I guess. <laughs> Did we ban Cosmic Cyclone? No. Oh. All right, I'll Cosmic Cyclone. <laughs> no! Oh, 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 oh. Dude, come on! Man. Don't banish Icarus! Oh it's my hard. God! <laughs> wow! Wing Raiders, Wing Raiders is crazy. Wow, that was record. a that was an extremely lucky draw. Uh, Dark Lord Jeez. Contact. Holy well, fuck! That's insane. Well, I don't actually really know if good. it is because nothing I do yeah. can actually beat Revolution Falcon. <laughs> I was gonna say it's not or, great. Or can it actually? Or can it? Okay, we're gonna go Ixchel. And then we'll activate Ixchel. We'll take a thousand here. I mean, yeah, Revolution Falcon's just a two K beater, right? Yeah. I, well, except uh, I can't attack it with a special summoned monster. What? Why? Yeah. Not? So his, he has a crazy effect. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's face up special summoned monster, oh, that monster's that's just like an becomes zero on it. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I see. You right, ready? Okay, you dumb, you. silly, stupid idiot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will tribute summon. Stop. What? Dark Lord Morningstar. <laughs> oh, oh no. So when this card is tribute summoned, I can summon Dark Lord monsters for my hand or deck equal to the number of effect monsters you control. No. Two? So I'm you gonna can grab just summon two Dark whole Lord ass guys. Superbia. Uh, and oh my god. I, I, gotta, I gotta think real quick. Now that guy can't be it. I could, this man. is sick. So here's, here's the issue here is that I don't have the life points to keep doing the stupid shit that I keep trying to do. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you can gain that life point back. You're right! Wait, you're correct! <laughs> you're absolutely right, buddy. Okay, hold Wait, on. Wait, and he's, he wasn't special summoned. All right, yeah, that's correct. I'm going to summon Dark Lord. Interesting. Uh, Tetsuka Kalapokatia. This is what the T in LGBT stands for, folks. Uh, we're going to go for Dark Lord Morningstar here and Mill 3. Okay. One, 
two. Oh, oh God, that's Chris. Two Dark Lords. Christia is in that set. But yes, I'll gain uh, a thousand. A thousand, which means I can activate the effect of uh, Tetsakalopia <laughs> to use contact. Oh, no. Wait, does this kill you? Oh, Let me do some math. Um, do you have a guy? Oh, you can summon Asmodeus because you haven't summoned him yet. Well, he can't be summoned from the deck or graveyard. Does okay, Superbia okay. miss timing? So then you couldn't contact uh, again. Oh, from the graveyard. Never mind. Yeah, Superbia has to be from the graveyard. You're right. I contacted for Ixchel into Nastin, right? Uh, well, yeah, you've already special summoned both All of right. them. Oh, we'll just go to combat here. I'll go Morningstar into Revolution Falcon. Joe, you, don't you remember? No. I have booster strikes in hand. You're telling oh. me that I had to read this no. card? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> oh, my. It doesn't target? Oh. It doesn't target. <laughs> Okay, I on. can search a protection hand trap. I'm pretty sure I can still win this game. Uh, I just have to cheat real quick. Okay. 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 <laughs> We're still in. in it. We're still I'm in. in. Okay. I'm what in. is it? It destroys my guy. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I'll attack your singing Lanius. You're going to be singing with the fishes when I'm done with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and okay. now I'm realizing that Revolution Falcon can kill me oh because now if you summoned oh well you can't summon morning star again anyway but yeah uh yeah nice. since these guys are in attack it will fucking kill you into hell mm, i disagree go ahead okay i is there something i'm <laughs> not reading about these cards dark lord monster you control be destroyed by battle or card in fact you can discard this instead okay uh, so that's a quick effect, so you could quick effect one of them back, but I don't think there's, like, a clear thing here. So we're just going to try to do it. Uh, we will detach the Sharp Lanius yep. to be able to attack everybody. That's fine. Uh, it does more damage to attack here, but I still feel like I'm going to use this effect i can't attack you directly yeah yeah so let's just go to the attacks uh, uh let's attack uh yeah what's up sure so i'll uh tetsuka in battle we'll take a thousand uh, okay i'm gonna target contact uh and i'm gonna summon okay. back x chill okay yeah keep going um I'm going to go to main two. Okay. I'm going to pop Superbia via Revolution Falcon effect to burn you. Thinking. <laughs> uh, I'm going to chain Ixchel here. Uh, targeting. <laughs> okay. 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 okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's Dark Lord, folks. That is the Dark Lord Let's experience. Go. All right, so for round two, I got food. I now have an LGBLT. Folks, happy pride. <laughs> happy pride. Hello, Brian. What's the difference between the spellings of gray and gray? Uh, there's an E and an A, right? That's the difference? Yeah. Well, when you take out the r they're both gay happy pride <laughs> happy, happy pride you know happy pride folks. triumphant return of code breaker again yeah. only <laughs> bangers today <laughs> that's a b and lgbt uh, stands for banger baby true oh stands, god uh, stands for well brent. good luck brent let me good see it indeed come on uh, come on let's go i'm waiting for it i <laughs> I might have picked a bad deck. <laughs> oh, oh, nice Let's go. <laughs> Not like what I'm seeing. No things are bad when the Porky Pig voice comes out. My hand is okay. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting one. Okay, Incredible. stand by main. Uh, I'm gonna normal summon Red Resonator. Mm. Resonators. Okay, on normal. And I'm gonna special, special summon Speed Royce Horse Stilts. Oh, oh my, my god. god, this 
Wait, this is specials <laughs> any level four in hand? This is just Goblinburg? Yes. <laughs> it's just Goblinburg. Wait, horse stilts. Oh, okay. He wasn't normal, so you don't get another speed void. Can we get a can no, we get a no. horse, 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 um, I can yeah, finish the machine for, for 500 damage. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> cool. Uh, <Happy> four, <laughs> 500 damage, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty fruity, but, um, if it's in the grave and I control no cards, I can special summon it. All right. This, this, uh, whole, I can't normal that turn though. This whole pride bit is not working for me. It, it's not monetizable enough, you know? We need to pivot yeah. to like the pride adjacent discourses. So first up, would you, you be okay fool. seeing speed? My entire pride? deck is themed to pride. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god. What the fuck are you playing? What is no, this? no, 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 no. What is this? <laughs> you set two cards. Homunculus the alchemic being? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Oh, what do I do now? Well, what is that? I don't know the, what you do. What, what in the name of dual already? monsters is going on? <laughs> oh. Oh, this is a bad deck. Are you about to yeah! summon the element swords? What the fuck? <laughs> don't worry, Brent. Just summon another homunculus. It's like I'm back in season one. <laughs> I was I was about to say that I I actually really like the concept of this episode because we get to play cool, high powered, different decks. <laughs> But <laughs> this this ain't a high powered game, Leah. This is a low powered game. I made a six star synchro that does nothing. Brent set a card. Yeah, we set the bar a little high. Uh, we like are playing two big ass combo decks that do a thousand things a turn. Danny's like, behold my twenty two hundred that cost me three cards to make. Oh, oh let's, go. let's go. Wait, the lone fire uh, could get another homunculus. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Go Please get it, Giga yep. Plant. Just give send me back to GX in a time machine. <laughs> I have to think here. Were you okay. aware that a time machine would also have to account for the rotation of the Earth and the movement of the solar system? No, Bitch, wait. shut up! Oh what do you, no, God. it wouldn't. What are you talking about? Yes, it would. No, I thought the purpose what? was a time machine of is you step in and then you fucking die in space. <laughs> <laughs> If y'all had a time machine, where would you go in time? Wow, that's a loaded question. Yeah, this that's is like a first date question. Ooh, Preda plants. Oh, Probably. Spino this is a guy. This is like a dog. Yeah, that's pretty Predator good. Counter. Predator counter. Predator counter. First of all, weird that you would platform predators like this, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes oh, level shit. one after damage count. Okay. The battle of Pumps with lower level special summon a predator player. Uh oh. That's pretty good. Uh, uh, seems kind of good. I can't beat up the Kendama. However, I will activate polymerization. Really? I'm so excited. Okay. Whoa, 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 so whoa, 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 Chill, 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 chill. On poly activation, I will bad aim the Spino. Uh, okay. The poly can still resolve. Yeah, Brent's I just wanted to, I wanted something. Yeah, I, I, I assumed to... we still had one in hand, but just want to make sure. I'm going to need you, Brent, to pronounce the name of the Preda plant you sent to Grave for this. Mm -mm. Uh, I, I, I sent, uh, <laughs> Preda plant, um, Clammy Dosen Do. Oh, that's pretty close. Mm. Uh, I summon Preda plant Chimera Flesha. Yep. yep, that's that sure was a fun version of that, I think. Not to be confused with Chimera Kesha. True. Um, <laughs> these kids deal? these days are making up new fake Preta plants. <laughs> when I was growing up, there were only two, Orphris Scorpio and Darlingtonia Cobra. <laughs> uh, yep, that's good. Oh, banish it. Uh, let me think on this. No. <laughs> okay. O okay. Let me win. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I, I don't think I will, but I will let the banish happen. That's fine. Yes. 
Oh my god, this is kind of gnarly. Sure. Yeah, so this is just a targeted banish. Wrong one. Once yeah, per it, turn. It, it That's pretty floats good. into another fusion spell. Uh, pretty good. Standby phase after it dies. Oh, wow, yeah. Um. So, Brent, Verte Anaconda comes in the Predaplant pack, right? Right. Right? Um. That's right. I remember in the main sets there being a kind of good Predaplant guy that was just like an attacker. Nah. Oh, yeah? Okay. Fair, fair, fair enough. Have a nice day. I am going to normal summon Car Car D. Yo! <laughs> Dude. Is and this, I'm just going to draw two. Is this like from the car movie? <laughs> the D stands for yeah. Danny. This is oh. Toe Mater's gay brother. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Mater's gay too. Happy, happy Pride. <laughs> He's yeah, just like that oh, actually. He's just like ashamed of it, you know. <laughs> All of you summoning a luber. Why don't you try summoning? Oh, uh, yep, there's the Alistair. Yep, 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 yep. yep. I mean, that's Pride Alistair. Month and the apex twink shall appear. There he is. <laughs> yep. uh, invocation here. Sure. Banishing yep. Alistair, and yep. I'll banish. Uh... Do I want fire or do you, I want You actually wind? have a lot of choices. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, a ton of choices. You have even light with the homunculus. Oh, can't believe we're true. at the point. Can't believe we're at the point where we're some normal summoning Alistair in this show. It's I crazy. think I'll just banish the wind. Sure. Yeah, and I'll that's... go for Raid Jin. Raid sure. Shadow. Did um, not, I'll do did a... not sponsor this one. Don't don't give him free advertising. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do invocation here. I don't yep. know why this is allowed. That I can just yep. like do yep. this. Good question. Yep. Yep. We've been asking ourselves that question for almost half a decade for now, Brent. Years. Uh... <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 no. You okay? No, 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 no. no. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, forty-seven with a Jesus. quick effect book of moon seems I pretty not. gnarly. <laughs> it's all right. It's doing okay. Jesus. Yeah, Christ. it seems pretty good. <laughs> This is yeah. so neat. Oh my god, our decks are crazy. No, I'm actually, oh yeah, I, I I have to say, uh, shout outs to I Wish I Was Dead for coming up with this idea of each of us opening a lot of one pack rather than opening a little of each pack. I don't go resonate okay. at all here. We're chilling. We're big chilling. This card has so little text. What the fuck? Just, just Rhoda. We have one region. That's all okay. I have to worry about. Yeah, um, all, all you got to do is play through a quick effect <laughs> disruption yeah. on it's a cool, guy. Cool. If you, I mean, it's Book of Moon. One Book board, of Moon. He will draw a fusion spell and normal Alistair again next <laughs> turn. <laughs> yeah. I love Alistair. I love recurrable... Uh, uh, endless, unlimited resources. Uh, the delinquent duo was in your pack, Danny. Right? You have it, right? Yeah. Uh, so, so I got to ask you: uh, Do you think the A in LGBTQIA stands for ally or Alistair? I. I sh Those I'm, are the only two choices. I'm, no, no, no. <laughs> ally. Ally is short for Alistair. <laughs> Uh, oh, get, get that get, get that boy on the board. Get that boy on the board. Can we salute him for a moment, real quick, for his service oh, to yeah, the community? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna normal summon the red resonator here. Uh, Den Den Daiko. Does uh, does this miss timing? Uh, no, right? Maybe. I'll just say it happens because I want to cheat. Uh, okay. Any response here? Um. Uh, oh, uh, I, I, I didn't know I could have a response. Jesus. Oh, you can't. I was just wondering. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you have uh, like do you have like an emotional response? Like, oh, yeah. that's cool. That's based. Like, Danny, you're so handsome. Et yeah. I wanna gain some. You, you can gain twenty five hundred life points here. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna do the red resonator target uh, chimera Felicia. Yeah. Go get those life points. Keep the game oh. going. Okay. Anything on res uh, after resolution? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, actually, um, that's a good point that you bring up. 
Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna special this guy. I'm gonna sorry. I'm gonna special all of these in defense. Just, yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. 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 They can't be book removed in that case. Um, <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it works. I'll do the book on the red warg. Yeah. Yeah, okay. seems Sounds right. This prevents Danny from making an eight. Or making anything. They're both tuners. Now he's stuck yeah. with two tuners. Yeah. Okay. No, he did normal. Not normal. <laughs> the red <laughs> 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 No, Danny wasn't normal. He hasn't normal. Uh, no, I agree with Leah. <laughs> I think I should normal again, actually. <laughs> No, shut up. Uh, so what's Red Resonator's like gay little headgear? Uh, it's the antenna. The, the antenna? No, the, the silver thing. The like uh, little... Yeah, it looks like a jellyfish. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Don't, don't all the Resonators have that? I mean, not every Resonator has the jellyfish on it. Oh my god. We're going to chill or just a set and pass. Set pass. That Actually, if you set, buddy, because that's the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> if you consider both of the cards on Danny's field, they actually, I, I actually do admire their style and headgear. Then, then Deco Duke has is where it's at. Their headgear oh, is just yeah. a lot uh, of hair. Yeah. You, Alistair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Curious. Uh, why, why did I, who paired me up with Bren, huh? Who did this? Leah. Leah? Is Whoa, literally my, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my. It, it was the dice I got that paired up against Alistair. It was the dice god. that did it. Oh, oh my god. Invoke? Yeah. yeah, yeah do whatever you want. I'm going to design an AI oh, cool. to do it so that That's you guys one. can't blame me for this. Yeah, at least Purgatory. there would be someone intelligent behind the wheel. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, I, I'm just going to. Uh... Torrential. No, no. God, I wish. Uh, so how does how does rise to full height work? This is just rise to full height. How does how does this work? Do I have to activate this prior before I can activate the graveyard effect? Let me see. You gotta activate it, send it to the graveyard, and then you can activate the graveyard effect. Yes. Okay, okay. So I, I don't I can do both in one time. You can turn. do both, yep. Okay, okay, okay. But you can't do both in the same chain, I think is sure. So I guess uh, on resolution. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You'll be able to do it the way that yeah. you want it. Sure. So I'll go I'll go rise to full height, targeting uh, I don't know, Den Den Daiko. Okay. And then you're good to proceed. Okay. So even if we like banish this guy or something, the other guys live. This is lucky. Uh because Purgatrio was going to kill you there. Um, thankfully, this is Brent's, I believe, last ability to use Alistair, right? After three, it becomes stale, and he has to pick a new move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's true. He's not out of PP. Yeah. All right. Uh, Still up to you. So during the battle, you'll target monster you control, then I have to attack it. Okay. Uh, I'll move to Batol. Okay. Mm. Watch out, Brent. I'll just. Then that Daiko Duke has 2k defense. Uh, anything on moving to battle phase? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I'll try to attack with Rage. Sure. Uh, we'll we'll just do this now. We'll force you on the den den. Okay. I'll pierce for three hundred. Ow. Woo! Wait, three hundred. How much? Uh, oh, right, right. Oh, he's got uh, way more I, than three hundred. Uh, no, I, guess, I think he has One, way more attacks. Two, so it's three, a, four. Yeah, he's got. Uh, so so he's got thirty-one. So you take eleven. Eleven. Oh, because of the gains two hundred. Oh, two hundred attack for each card you're putting. Yeah, isn't Whoa, that that's so me. stupid? <laughs> It's so goddamn dumb. So dumb. I mean, to I'll banish the red resonator. Sure. It's once per turn. My God. It's just like I I can't win this game. <laughs> I'm Man, trying. Just, just beat just beat Alistair, Danny. It's really I'll, not I'll beat just Alistair. Out. Outvalue the invoke deck. You can do it. I like I literally <laughs> cannot. You're trying. Ooh, uh, he is trying. You really activated trying. Rota every turn. That doesn't enough. matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh god it's okay when we flip up this guy Brent doesn't have any more interruption 
That's true. Uh, you got it. You got it. <laughs> I, I cannot make a fucking holy book. Holy. That was that Jesus was horrifying. Christ. That was horrible. Leah, it's all you. Joseph sucks ass and and fuck you, Brent. So uh Gavin's playing a bit of a base deck that he's never played before, but he, he has um, the genetic memory of us testing at uh at college. I think I go first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I lost uh, the dice. Yeah, we got it. We got that it. game was over. If the Raid Raptor the player, the second turn, huh? Uh oh. Up, oh, that's the experience. Um... <laughs> Foul Ooh. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, I I see. In classic Gavin fashion, we've dug through the generics to find the yep. cards that we can play. In Gavin's defense. You probably have to be playing Balbaboon in this one. <laughs> Balbaboon's pretty good, as I understand. Shoutouts to Trinity um, format. I, I would have played this card. What the heck? And then I put one on bottom. This, this card was card. legal the entire time. I know. I mean, th this wasn't good in, uh, you know, yeah. like when we were pen summoning five every turn. Right. Yes, it was. Oh, my God. No, no one here believes in Metal Foes. What's going on? Yeah, but with this? we banned the Metal Foes. Not for the live show. Well, yeah, but... The Oh, oh come on! I mean, that was the dog. That was a live show. Come on. All right, Gavin. Do is this disruption that you have faced down? Please yes. tell me now. Um, you're you're legally you're obligated just to going tell me. To have to find out. You have to tell me by law. Mm, I don't. Um, singing Lanius. Mm, I don't. <laughs> oh, singing Actually, fine. You have to tell if her for for Pride Month, right? A face yeah. up noisy monster. Yeah. Yeah, Singing Lanius um, just can special summon from hand uh, if I control an XYZ. So I'm literally just normal summoning this Jag. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That's You're Yu -Oh, kidding baby. me. No That's Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. You're Dead Yu -Oh, baby. Dog. Oh, get owned. Who oh, gave this man? My Let's, God. Go, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Stun master. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, Gavin, let me let me walk you through the intense combos of this deck. So you're going to want to attack the singing Lanius. Okay, I, do I? Uh, you know what? I actually don't know if you do, right? I don't know <laughs> so, if I, I don't know if I do. I mean, what, I, is, what, I, what I is she going to do? do? She has some kind it? of stupid fucking collute, remember? That I do. So, uh, or are you more worried about sending vanities to grave? Collute. Well, that See, would send the vanities if, to grave right, if you get colluded. Would. But if I if I don't attack and Leah just flips up something dumb in my end phase, vanities goes and then Leah can play anyway. True. So it's like, do I I roll on it's when? Yeah, it's a fifty fifty. So it's like when you want to do it, I guess. If if um, she has it, I guess I will normal summon a Pelio. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm attacking. Let's do it. Um so I'm gonna I'm gonna flip up Icarus attack. Okay. Well we're gonna we Icarus Balbaboon and the face down. Okay. And yeah. if I so let me just make sure I'm doing this right. If I do it this way, Gavin won't get the Balbaboon summons because Vanities hasn't hit the grave yet. Yeah, Vanities is an activated effect, right? So Balbaboon won't be able to start a chain with its own effect. Yeah. So I guess I just have to decide. I'm definitely getting the value on Balbaboon here. Do I also just kill your guy or do I kill the back row? I'll kill uh, the back row. Okay. Any response to this? Uh, no. Okay. And then Vanities does. Hey. I, this is good for us, Gavin. This is We're still in a winning position. Yeah, doing good. We see, this is just simple math, right? So we have Spiritual Beast Apelio on our side of the field, which has 1,800 attack points, which means we are plus 1,800 on Leah. Okay, let's normal Fuzzy Lanius. Mm -hmm. This only has 500 attack points. that okay? Points. Yeah. We are going to Swallow's Nest. Oh, your deck is so dumb. My deck's <laughs> really good, dog. <laughs> so Swallow's so Nest, is that okay? Sure. Okay. I should have so snubbed we're going to tribute deck. him... Uh, we're going to go find the other Fuzzy Lanius. The problem is the Raid Raptors were the only, one of the few really pushed cards in the sets we got that, like, I don't know how much they helped, 
your pulls, Leah, but there were a and ton of them. we'll summon Mimicry Lanius from the Swallow's Nest. Yeah. Okay, then we'll... Uh, so using the effect of the new Fuzzy Lanius in hand, I'll special summon it. Mm -hmm. You with me so far? Yeah. Okay, okay. Overlay. Mm -hmm. I love Raid Raptors. This deck is cool. All right, it's yeah. a Steed Star. Uh, Four Strix. Is this okay? It's really consistent because, like, every. Say, I mean, yeah, everything is fine. It's really consistent because, like, almost every card in your deck does the same thing. Yeah. I have to say, I have yeah. to say, I'm slightly proud of myself for this one because this is the first time I've tried to use like modern deck building theory to build a deck, and it feels good. Uh, we'll detach mim uh, mimicry lanius. Must be We're nice. Going to go search up. Gavin's gonna flip emptiness on me, and then I'm just going. To uh, we'll search up another it. mimicry. Then we will ma rank up magic revolution force. Yeah. <laughs> uh, make Blaze Falcon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, nice special summon monsters, Leah. Uh, that's true. I can, uh, I can still destroy a monster my opponent controls with this. So we're going to go to the battle phase and attack directly. You should attack directly. If you're spending target one monster, your opponent controls, destroy it. Okay. No shot we've it's got Zeus like... in here, right? Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, when that happens, I'll destroy Apelio. Then in main two, I'll set a card. Uh, go ahead. Hey. This is just like a constructed deck. It, it's, yeah. I yeah. wanted to play this because during the season, I thought about building Raid Raptors a few times because I opened so much stuff for it. So, can this I'm, card be destroyed? It can. Yeah, it has no protection. It's only a thousand. It has no quick I'll, effects. I'll just destroyed. normal summon when. Okay. okay. When, 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 uh, when. I will attempt when, when, when. to attack. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, he does. Oh. Wow, okay, we're let's there. go. Someday we're, we're going to go. We're gonna keep go. two of these guys on field. Someday we're going to keep right. two of these guys on field. <clears throat> yeah, one day I'm, we'll get I'm, two ritual I'm beasts. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm going to have to do this to you, Gavin, but I'm no. glad to get to do this. In the end no. phase... I will rank up magic doom double force. Oh my god. So I summon Blaze Falcon. Stop it. No. Stop it. And I will overlay him oh into Blaze Raptor Ultimate Falcon. Oh. <laughs> it's actually just Ultimate Falcon. Oh. Yeah, a response to that. It was destroyed by battle. So, okay. No. Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon! Oh, what the fuck? So the right there way to... Is. I would have had to know this card existed. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then I would have had to not... Hit it somehow. ...attack and destroy right. by battle the Blaze or, Falcon. Or blind MST, the double force. Yeah, this was yeah, blind uh, hit it somehow. Ugh, oh, God. Um... Uh, affected by cards effects... It is unaffected by let other just, cards. Let me just look through my deck here. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I have it out to this. <laughs> this is one of the like yeah, you're big about. unkillable boss monsters of all time. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well. Yes. Yep. That, I mean, there's oh, just no God. way. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
You're gonna let Brent summon Alistair. That's the problem. I, I gave yeah, Brent a turn. That was too stupid won't, won't of me. Draw it. Well, you're right about not drawing it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, magical meltdown. Yeah. Anyway, meltdown. Is meltdown in that set? I think meltdown so. from later. Uh, yeah, meltdown's in this set. Yeah. Oh, oh epic. Cool, huh? Epic. <laughs> Gamer. Wow. <laughs> is Who decided these sets? Set? I wish you were dead. I wish I was dead. Oh yeah, yeah. I meant to I, I meant to shout out this before, but uh shout outs to I wish I was dead for suggesting the format for this. Yeah, I wish I was um, dead has stealth been running the progression series this season. Yeah. Uh, Building well, all of stealth. <laughs> <laughs> so if you dislike the season, it's their fault. Correct. <laughs> also this set. Also their Ooh, fault. This seems pretty good. It is Friday not plan. their fault. Try to plant. Put the, 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 the. Okay, oh. So, fun fact: you do have to pronounce this name correctly if you want to activate the effect. Uh, Lone Fire Blossom. Yeah, Fire. unfortunately. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. Right. It's try to plant Terra Penis. That's true. Yeah. You got wow. First that's try. Wow, that's incredible. First try. He's kind of oh got. Oh my like... god. <laughs> he changes of. He does change of heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, if you've yeah. if you've ever read the Predaplant monsters, uh, if you get a counter on an opponent's monster, you're just allowed to do anything with them. It's you can, over. Like, you yeah, can take it's literally them. over. There's one of them that puts them in your binder, and you get to walk home. Like it, it's, it's kind of <laughs> cracked. It's kind of oh crazy. It was. I was in a match, and someone did the Predaplant effect thing to me, and I was like, oh, well, here's your here's your forbidden droplets. I didn't yeah. even know you could target forbidden droplet with with Terra, but you, you know, there's one crazy. that you got to suck them off, but like. You don't play it. It's just not enough value. <laughs> you we, play it because it's like a rogue option. Yeah, I do Excuse play it. Excuse me? Did we just loan <laughs> fire from Lone Fire from a monster? What, what's the problem? I don't see the Wait, oh, my God. God. Yeah, 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 go for it. So, uh, homunculus this is a uh, dark. This deck fucking rocks. Excuse me. Uh, homunculus is, so is uh, clearly a light. You can't just change your attribute. <laughs> This is the greatest deck of all time. Oh, this is, I will say, is so good. This is the deck of all time. Holy oh, God. We just oh. lose. Starving oh. Venom's crazy. <laughs> Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Wow. That's uh, really He's funny. Fusion. What the fuck does this, this do? Let's go. <gasps> Goodbye. All right. Uh, I'm going to send wow. Dark Lord Superbia to the grave. I do got to ask, what's with the hole on top of Superbia, right? Like... <laughs> There's kind of like a big gaping hole. It's a cup. It's yes. okay. Brent gets to destroy all of your special summon monsters. Correct. Wow, starving Ven starving Venom right. Fusion Dragon thank, has maybe the coolest you, art. Dark Lords. Jesus Christ! Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna send Tetsakapalokia to the graveyard with Ix. Ah, this problem. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, even bet. Wait, we drew even better. Oh my God! Wow. Okay, I don't uh, think you back to you at all. <laughs> <laughs> this deck is so good. Uh, this deck is so bad. Shut Just up! Give it shut up! Just give it's, it's okay. Time. It's okay. Time. My deck is also penis. <laughs> all right. Which of wh here's Friend. here's a fun uh, Pride Month question. Uh, which of the Dark Lords are homosexual? It's all of them, right? All of them. <laughs> Regrettably, every Dark Lord is heterosexual. Oh. Yeah, you you can you can tell because they all fucking suck. <laughs> oh, just yeah, eighteen hundred. <laughs> just a fucking Gemini elf. You got it. Just a guy. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? Bullshit, man. You know we're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, draw a good oh, card. Yes. yes, there has to be a card that yes, does something. Trade in. Okay. Yes. <laughs> keep Wait. going. Keep going. One, two, Wait a three. Couldn't four, we have five. summoned Christia? No, we had five. Oh no, we were too many fairies okay. in. I think I'm about to do something extremely funny. Okay. Oh Pass damn it! Pass the turn again. <laughs> Pass the turn again. Yeah. No, we're gonna uh, Dark Lord Please? contact targeting. Or the halfway. You are Stop. halfway through your fucking deck. Okay. There okay. we go. Uh, we'll trigger now we do Superbia. Superbia. Uh, we're going to target uh, Ixchel. Oh. oh, no. Uh, we're going to summon him in attack. Uh, no. Christia. Oh, well, there it is. Oh. <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> uh, okay. Ixchel. We win this one, actually. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We're going to bring back Superbia uh, with contact. You can't special summon monsters. No one can? No one can. Okay, that's fine. He doesn't. He doesn't need to come out. That's fine. 
I mean, I'm pretty well, sure Vanity is on a guy, and Recur a Fairy from Grave is pretty good. It's all right. Okay, uh, what are we doing here? Well, in that case, I guess we might as well trade in again, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Just yeah. Keep going, keep going. Oh, you know keep what? Going. We might as well trade in again, baby. <laughs> are you playing really fucking, fucking Exodia? <laughs> <laughs> well this is this is uh dark lord is at some point it just becomes exodia uh okay we'll go combat uh ixchel love in the defense position superbia well i don't have a choice about it oh it does <laughs> yeah yeah, okay. yeah i'm loving uh, contact it summons in defense that's why yeah yeah okay. wait I just drew a card that exactly adds Christian. I still you the are animal, fucking me. I was what gonna say, it? I was like, what could it possibly be? Red Flint Fly Trap. Oh, oh yeah, oh, my god, that's, that is yup. That's the best one. <laughs> this is the guy, right? This is the guy. Okay, fine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Sense. Well, now you free. Okay, so now my... I now I trigger Christio, right? <laughs> Uh, Place it on top of the deck instead. What? Yep. It doesn't. Oh. It's actually bad. I, I have way more. It's than actually four here. really nice for you. <laughs> One, two, three, four, uh, unless, unless Joe put a fourth trade in in the deck. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah. Darn it! Why couldn't I just draw Elster? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Would have been pretty nice, huh? Oh, you beat me though. Cause you just just draw drew it. Twenty-one, twenty-nine. Uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll just I expedite literally... this process a little bit. Invocation, polymerization, king of the swamp, epic. Wow. Epic, epic gamer. <laughs> that I mean, when it pops off, it pops off. This is the sixth game. No, right. <laughs> Gavin. Uh, I I'm bricking solidarity with you. We're both playing dog shit decks, but when they draw perfect, they're crazy. So just draw. I'm perfect in your this time. corner, Gavin. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's worse than the other deck I was gonna play. Uh, Necroz with four ritual spell cards, not that playable. Really? That seems okay. What were the four? Uh, mirror, mirror, cycle, kaleidoscope. Yeah, that's not enough. Yeah. So, so is Necroz the seconds. strongest of these that we didn't huh. see from, the, from these packs? All right, open Elder Canahawk, please. <laughs> Whoops. Right, for the first time with no preamble, uh, Ram Pengu. Okay. I'm Fair. talking a bit. Yes. So yeah, let me explain this what June, Ram so said... Pengu into. <laughs> We better so, keep so, this, we better keep up the same fervor for all of June. <laughs> yeah, Joe, tell tell me what happens here. Uh, does anything happen with Rampengu, or do do you need another guy on board? Nah, so you got to open like a tamer and a spiritual beast, uh, and the tamer has okay. pretty much always got to be elder. Uh, so Gavin wow. can have a bunch of really cool set cards like uh, Steeds, which just pops cards, and uh, Ambush, which uh, summons guys back. But uh, he's got to get them first. All right, we're going to go call. Yep. The boy. Rampang yep. you. More like Rampang me. Happy pride. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so what did Rampangu do? It banished a guy in extra to foolish. Yeah, guy? so each ritual beast monster has an associated big-ass ritual beast in the extra. So you send the big-ass Ritual Beast in the Extra to the Banish Zone, and then you send the other one to the Graveyard. Uh, while we're here, I do want to draw your attention. If you hover Ulti Apelio in the Banish Zone real quick to his fucked-up foot, it's like he's got five fingers but no thumb. <laughs> uh, there is a term for that, actually. It's called being a, a lion. Are, oh, really? Do lions have one digit? on the halfway point of their paw like dogs or do they have weird fucked up human hands what do you think anthropologist leah <laughs> <laughs> anthropologist oh this is um, such a weird hand sorry, so i, I know it's got for... no thumb <laughs> <laughs> sorry 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 i'm confused this is a legitimate question why is fusions what yeah, so each of the is ritual, it a ritual is, archetype. Well, the ritual is fusing. It's kind of like how invocation is a ritual, right? Ah, uh, Danny's got what? the same kind of hand. Yeah, not great. Uh, go ahead. 
Ooh, that, that rocks. Dude, let's let's make it happen, buddy. Let's make I know, it happen. It's, it's gonna happen. Come on. Um, target. So they contact fuse, right? They do. Yes, that does it. Let's make it happen. Ooh. Wait. Okay, so when it's summoned, is you can target a ritual beast in your grave. Special summon it, but destroy during the end phase. This means Gavin okay. gets to play Zephra. So you need a tamer and another one, right? Yeah. It's got to be tamer guy. Okay. Yeah. So summon tamer target Apelio. You ready for my piece of ritual beast trivia that will make Leah specifically mad? Yeah. So um, the uh, many of these monsters search ritual beast monsters, right? Uh, mm. That refers not only to the tamers, which are named ritual beast tamers, but also the little guys who are named spe ritual beasts. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm. It this is really strange though, like an archetype that's made up of fusions but is called rituals. That would be like if Konami printed an archetype that's made up of fusions but is called XYZ. It's just weird that it happened twice. <laughs> right? Oh, God. So this special summons the guy. Okay, yeah. I guess uh Wow, this is really frustrating. I can um, shortcut this for you, Danny. If you have a removal spell, you gotta do it on the tamer. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm getting here. Oh, wow. I guess She's I'll compost riding... the tamer. Oh, that's not Aww. very good at all. She's no, it's not great. Do. Wait, that's cute. Tamer. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. really have much of another option. Wait, what the fuck? I like this architect. Uh, do I still get a Pelio? Yep. I believe you do. Why are they so adorable? But destroy it during the end phase. Yeah. Wait, that seems like a great card. Okay, so Apelio's here. That's pretty good. Apelio is so cute. He's yawning. God, yeah, adorable. Uh, br br battle. Sure. Attack. You will never defeat. Don't put that in! <laughs> oh it's right. I can say that! I'm allowed to oh say that! Oh my god, I, not even it during the Is what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> no! Dude, Jules, do not. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. We, I can't, we can't proceed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you done? You're cracking yourself up here. <laughs> yeah, are you done? I'm trying to lose yes. here. Yes, I'm beast. done. Yes, I'm oh, done. done. I won't right. say you anymore. Done. You know, I won't, you know, say things. I know, I'm no, to I say. know you're thinking of saying it now. You're like, would it be funny if I just said it one more time? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'll take 800 here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can I draw a card, please? Crying. I should have. I should have. Ugh, whatever. Pain, suffering. Oh. It's all I know. What? Ooh, the heck? we're making abyss dweller. That's a card. Oh okay. Abyss dweller. Sure. Oh, that's that's kind of cool, right? Because like you can detach and then normal the Zephyr and Pilica and get the detach back and do the combo. Hey! Wow. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Am I mean? I wow! I did not draw it, huh? That's that's sick. Okay, well, let's thin the deck again, I guess. Oh, you have, this has been glued to your hand. You just this need is, some this is awful. Glued this to is your the. Hand. It's like I don't even need like. Ugh, God! I, it's not even I the part of the deck that was cool. I don't even get red, to show red, it off. Red resonator is pretty cool. <sighs> it's okay. I'll try this. Go oh, speed recovery here. Okay. Okay. He's back. I'll go to this is okay. I was like, does this have a water attached? Jesus. I'll try and attack here. Sure. Alright. Are you good to go to damage step? Yeah. Alright. Well, uh, let's see if you have your rocket hand. I'm gonna rocket hand. Uh no. Okay, thank God. Ah, rocket hand. Oh, rocket hand's crazy here. I saw that Daiko had a grave effect and but I don't think that's it fair. Because everything It could have if I had the tuner. Everything does the same thing. The resonator mm -hmm. does it anyway. Uh, go ahead. Ooh, speed, speed recovery is looking pretty good. Speed actually. recovery is it's crazy. Right. Almost the entire reason to play this deck in the TCG. Uh, it's a fucking non-once-per-turn monster reborn. 
So, so let me ask while we're here, we, we've played a lot of archetypes today. Were any of these good and constructed? I mean, Alistair, yes. obviously. Uh, but... Of the ones we've played today, uh, Dark Lord was yep. fringe playable. Um, Ritual Beast was an anti meta call during Necroz format that was very, very playable. Speedroid has been rogue competitive in the past, but never really. Um, Invoked has, of course, been top tier a ton of different times. Predaplant is actually cool. top tier now. Um, uh, and uh, anything else? What did we miss? Raid Raptor has been a fun of include in Phantom Knight setups off and on for the last four years. Oh, that's so funny. They're in the same set. Like, the Phantom Knights come from Wing Raiders. Yeah. Although, interestingly, the first Phantom Knights card is that really bad trap from, like, Duelist Alliance. Yeah. From, like, two years before... <laughs> The rest of them. I wasn't considering that Ramplico was going to go to the extra deck. Yeah, leaving, going to Abyss Dweller might lose me the game here. Um, if, the way I'm drawing, I think you're fine, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'll do this again. I mean, currently, currently, I believe attacking Den Den uh, is is going to get it done. So, if you need um tamers in rotation, remember you can send Gaia Pello. Don't own one. Oh. I see. Oh. Wait, I see. what the fuck? Ulti pedal fin looks so cool. Um, Wait, okay. I love this. I love Me, these every dudes. time There's I see stuff. an anime girl with a cute animal. I'm gonna shut up. Oh, oh Happy my Pride, Cut folks. This <laughs> Cut this, Jules. Cut this. No, they look like um. The A stands for anime same... watcher. I. Oh. I'm leaving the show. That's it. I'm, I'm not oh. appearing in any other episodes. Uh, <laughs> After the Denda Daiko Duke thing, I think that might be true. <laughs> I, I I cannot draw a non-tuner for the life of me. Lord. Strongest speedroid player. My <laughs> <laughs> God. I guess I'll just put guys on the board. Fuck it. You know what? They have the energy of Wait a sec. Is this supposed to be the Digimon archetype? Actually, actually? Hold on, let me just. Oh. I the think Digimon? this is supposed to be Digimon, right? Like they're all tamers. Their dude gets like bigger and sicker when they like evolve together. No, it's the same guy. Oh, it's oh it. It's all. Uh, sure. Zephramplica. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do the same shit. It's all the same girl. No, no. We'll do this one in defense. I'll gain 600 life. Wow. That's cool, right? He really do be advancing oh, the game state here. Really, truly, I truly, <laughs> I, I really got a cool deck here. I, I, it's really cool and epic and based, actually. Wait, just overlay for uh, rank two. Yeah, it's got a calf. It's working! <laughs> it's working! <laughs> I mean, if we oh, draw like a guy here. God. That, I guess, does it. Uh, I, I guess I have to pray this this back row is nothing. We're going to normal Terror Top. My god. That's terror a pretty good top. one. I oh. know. Oh. I know. There's three in the oh. deck. I'll, I'll emptiness. I'll emptiness. I'll emptiness. That's fine. I, I don't this care. Is a, this is a normal. Right? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. It's a normal summon. It adds to hand. Oh, add to hand. Okay, sure. I mean, this does prevent the synchro, for assuming yeah. Danny doesn't have some back row he can pop. I guess we'll grab Yo Yo here. Crazy ass card. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, oh, wow. That seems pretty good. So Terra Top is actually like a, like a constructed all-star card, right? Yep. Uh, first started seeing play during extra deck Monarch format. Uh, which is almost immediately after it's printing. Uh, boy, oh boy, is this thing broken. It's at one to this day. So, it, yeah, and it's largely because it's a, it's a Cyber Dragon Stratos. Uh, it like is a Cyber just... Dragon that Stratoses you into a second Cyber Dragon. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. Oh, I was... Oh, uh, Brent, I super cheated in our game. For, for the life points. Oh, I, right. I noticed that... Yeah, it, didn't it did change the outcome. Yeah, yeah, Danny, yeah. yeah for you sure. stupid moron! You'll never defeat a two K defender. I literally, Kinda. literally. <laughs> uh, well. 
Oh, they get banished. Oh, so you can keep emptiness. Well, no, because you well, have to perform no, a special summon. Yeah, you know, I guess you have to perform that. I was like, oh, oh, wait. Uh, sure, go ahead. I can't believe they printed emptiness into that pack. Yeah, I don't know. They were like, you know what this deck wants? Vanity's emptiness. Had to print it somewhere. They actually, fun fact, they actually didn't. They they did not. This card didn't need to exist at any point. Here's a funner fact. Uh, we are playing with the uncensored art. Did you know the TCG art of Vanity's Emptiness has a bigger lens flare so you can't see Vanity's crotch? What? Yeah. What? Like, you know, Wait, the, like, you can't see it in this one. The weird hairy body. That's too sensual. So we had to put a big ass J.J. Abrams style lens flare over the whole thing. That's so funny. <sighs> Joe, you gotta say the line here. I'm looking at his waist. It's pretty thin. I would say it's pinchable. It is. It is borderline. He's got a very pinchable waist. Yeah. Yeah. I'll play, I'll, play, I'll play. I'll play cards. Let's go. Okay. 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 Ooh. So, will you be activating the effect of Bow Baboon? Oh, right. It activates. Yeah, that doesn't. That doesn't proc vanities. So. Um. Do I activate the effect of Bale Baboon? It literally couldn't be bad to do that. Oh, sure. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're right. I yeah. will activate the effect of Bale Baboon. What is going on with Bale Baboon? It's like a kangaroo, but without the a, kangaroos. Your response to that. Uh, sure. <laughs> what did I you will. just say? <laughs> this is not what it is like. I will <laughs> yeah, attempt to bad aim this card. My set, you're targeting the set card. I guess I yeah. have to chain it then. Uh, That's a good one. You do, uh, you do not control a ritual beast? Oh, yes, he does. He has a spear ritual beast. Oh, it counts. It does. Sure. So you, so you pop one monster? Yeah, I'll pop... Uh... Sure. The card you added can get Terror Top back, is that what I understand? Correct. Yes. This card, when this card is normal or special summoned, you're going to add one speed droid from your deck to your hand. Oh, oh yeah, okay. baby. So I guess it's got to be Red Resonator. That's the defense one. Uh, sure. Can, um, real quick, does anybody think that Spiritual Beast, Petalfin, and Aerorca hang out? Uh, uh, so I'll resolve the effect of Bayo Baboon. Yep. Because of the tribal tasks. I think that, like, uh, Air Orca, like, thinks that it's disrespectful, right? Like, I think Petalfin is, like, the equivalent of, like, the white girl that's, like, give me, like, crazy in sure. Chinese, right? Because I'm, like, crazy. <laughs> okay, that's what I got. Pedal right. Wait, Petalfin is the dolphin from Enna. Banish Denden Daiko here. Okay. To special summon Red-Eyed Dice. Oh, that's a decent draw. It's a good one. Uh, so I have to think here. What the fuck are the speed voids? They're all toys. Do you have to declare? Oh, okay. Do you, you declare like on target, right? Is that correct? Yes. Uh, yeah. Mm. So I'll do red eyed dice on Terror Top. We'll do six. So you could potentially go into a seven. Uh, yeah. Give me one second. Sure. How much? How much, What's the level on um, the card that Terror Top added? Yo, yes. Uh, four. It's a four. Four. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna say I hope that's fine. So that's okay. fine. Uh, okay. So now, now it's time to think again. I remember reading the speed voids and thinking that every single one was so fucking weird. Like, all of the extra deck guys do something very strange, and it feels like there's some combo or something it's supposed to do, and I can't put it together in my head what it is. You just synchro ladder. Is there, like, an end boss? Do you just make, like, crystal wing or yeah, something? Yeah, the end boss is just, like, normal synchro dragons. Stardust dragon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we'll go into the seven here. Uh, let's make... Cyframe Lord Zeta. Oh, this card is so good. Holy Sick. fuck. Once per turn, quick effect, target a special summon monster your opponent controls and attack. 
banish it and this, but return them in your next standby phase. Wait, it's um, it's that card Brent was playing all the time. Uh, Timebreaker Magician. Yeah. It's literally Timebreaker. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, but it's quick. I'm gonna, effect normal oh, yo-yo here. Yeah. It's clear the effect. Yeah. We're going to special summon back red-eyed dice. Wait, Danny's kind of popping off here. Okay. Red-eyed dice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, here we go. Oh, my God. No shot. Boink. Oh. oh. Whoa. <laughs> Amazing. He's here. It's the boy. He's, He's here. here. Oh, my God. He's yeah. actually here. Crystal wing. Ha. Huh. This card is uh, insane, right? Oh, he's out of this yeah. world. <laughs> Damage step? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's actually not very good. Uh, he's okay, very well, shitty. Sure. This lost wind. Cool. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. Don't do anything to negate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. So, fun fact about Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. This card was hyped up to be like the big boss to end all bosses, and he was for a little while. Um, there were a lot of decks whose main game plan was to try and summon him through some weird mechanism and combo setup, right? Um, the set, uh, in the very first set in Vrains, they release a boss monster called Borlode uh, Dragon, right? Uh, this monster has three effects. Uh, it can, when it attacks, take an opponent's monster at a link point it controls, and as a quick effect, uh, change an opponent's monster's attack to 500 less than it normally has. Um, and importantly, this card does not have a level. Never in my entire life have I seen a card so clearly designed to beat another card. It was like, no level, so Synchro Dragon can't attack over it. The... Activated effect can't be responded to, so it can't be negated. It was just so frustrating. And 25 over 3k. Hilarious. Normal summon win. Let's go. Er, Combo begins yep. after 45 turns. There we go. Yep. I like that this is the 5,000 year game. All right. <gasps> guys now. Uh, sure. Uh, We're getting my double yo-yo. All right, time for you all to learn the exciting truth of this deck. So, uh, <laughs> Ulti Cannonhawk <laughs> does not do what it says. So it's got two effects. True. Uh, the first one's an ignition. You can target two banished Ritual Beast cards, return them to the graveyard, and if you do, add a Ritual Beast card from your deck to your hand. As a quick, you can tag it out to summon back a Ritual Beast Tamer and a Spiritual Beast Tamer. However, it doesn't have to return two of your banished cards to the graveyard in order to resolve its first effect. So if you activate Ulti yeah. Cannonhawk here, potentially so targeting... I'm going to do that. Let me, I'm going to take it yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, ultimate, I'll activate Ulti yep. Cannonhawk. Okay, I'll okay. target Ulti Petal Pin and... <sighs> You're telling me you opened Vanity's Lost Wind, and I gave you 70 turns to do so? Yeah, what I was going to say. Uh, he he might not have opened them. What the heck? After I chain, after uh, I declare that, I will chain the effect to go back to the extra deck. Yeah, yeah. Targeting yeah, yeah, yeah. when and you Petal can just cheat. So when sure. Petal Finn will resolve the effect to send Ulti to Graveyard, and then we will get the add. Sure. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So why are you allowed to do this? Doesn't it say, and if you do? Uh, well, he did return a card. He just didn't return it's both so cards. Stupid. So you yep, only yep. have to return one of them. Right. Okay. Um, so it, it allows you to recur the guys and draw during the process? Is that, that what That being said, that's really all... Uh, that's as far as it goes. I don't have access. I don't have access. We do have lethal here, right? Do we have lethal? Why Instead of steeds, why don't we just add any ritual beast and then banish it off pedal thing? <laughs> oh, because I'm bad. Okay. True. Coach? Okay. Yeah, coach. Co just coach him in this game. It's okay. Uh, it yeah, that's matter. fine. Oh, no, wait. We can't it's, win uh... because we're risen to full height. It was It was part of the plan. Oh, yeah. rise to full height. Sure, sure, right, sure, sure. Right, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Um, hiya. Sure. 
Uh, that's how much? Uh, you don't 12? need to activate rise to full height here. It doesn't do anything. Oh, I guess you're right. I guess you rise to full right. <laughs> Happy pride. Happy pride. <laughs> True. All right, Danny, draw your last pathetic card. I know, right? It's cool, actually. Hmm. I gotta say, Ulti Apelio's art, very fucking sick. Great I, art. Uh, except for the feet. Yeah. Sans feet. It's a good, great it's art. Like, <laughs> like, the foot is correct. The hand is all fucked up. Uh, all right. Well, we'll try uh get it all, get rid of this stupid monster in my hand. Uh, is this uh, t take eleven? This is a bold strategy. Six. Okay, manage this. Grab terror top. Okay. All right. Combo is continuing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm spinning my wheels here. I literally can't think of something to do that will well, actually do anything. You're actually spinning your top. Oh, my God. Uh, grab dice again. Do you have to do... Oh, if you control no monsters. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's cool, actually. No, oh, this deck is cool, guys. No, dude, oh, it's sick. Oh, it's, Come it's on. Awesome. Maybe you just don't, like, get it, right? Yeah. Okay, um, this one I don't understand. What is a toy about putting stilts on a horse? All steeds. Yeah, change. I was like, could you please oh, just yeah. just do ulti, get the guys, pop my board. Okay, okay. okay. All right, all right, all right. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Wow. That was just constructed. Mm. I, I don't feel think like so. That. I don't think so at all, actually. Well, for some of us, it was constructed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's clarify a bit, huh? <laughs> Well, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this special uh, episode. Um, these decks were really cool. It was fun to play with some strategies that were, if not meta, meta adjacent uh, during different periods in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s actual history instead of cobbling together bullshit based on what we pulled in packs that contain garbage cards. Um, I am excited to jump into the brains. Uh, I am... I'm very excited. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this episode. I know some people had different feelings about their decks, but Awful. I was Just really happy I got to play a sick deck. Um, What's in brains? Yeah. Uh, set one has the trick stars and the gokies. Whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Sick uh, one. Excuse me. You're forgetting Sorry. the world chalice monster. <laughs> actually, I am. Those actually are pretty real. No, early, you yeah. actually are forgetting that. That's I think they're good. really high rarity, though. Well, most of them are commons. Um, okay, so the other crazy thing in here is that there's a bunch of random cards that are just great in limited that are just What's like... What's that called? Cybernetic Code of Horizon. The, Code of the Duelist. That's the one. Up. Um, I think Cybernetic Horizon is the next one. Like, so for example, we get Orbital Hydra Lander. Oh yeah, that's going to be Ooh, Vendred. We get... um. I would like to point your attention to the Ascended of Thunder, which is just a free 2700. It's he's, just free. He's just a just guy. Just do it. He's just he's a lad. He's just a dude. He's just a guy. Yeah. I, I, I think Brains is going to be uh, really sick. I'm, I'm really excited to see uh, how the deck building goes. Let us know how you want us to sing the intro, because I don't speak no Japanese. Oh, rip DDD. <laughs> rip, rip yeah. Rest in peace, DDD. See you never. Happy Pride. Thank you.